I think that's everything. <laughs> All right, looking to get a Vitamix in 2021, trying to figure out which one to buy. Um, I'm Lenny Gale, life is no yoke. Today, let's, first of all, quick housekeeping. Um, we're gonna set a 20 minute timer so we stay on track. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll uh, have cured your paralysis by analysis and uh, help you take the plunge. And if we do, if we are the, the most helpful, and that's the goal here. And if you wanna support our small business, you can use our links to buy direct from Vitamix. Uh, when you see our name at checkout, 06 no yoke, next to free standard shipping, you'll get the minimum accepted price, that's the lowest. And of course, if at any time you're not totally sure, let us know. We, we are real people. We have a team here to help you figure this out, me included. You know, we have a big reach, but we still are a mom and pop shop. Then, and this is important, once you've made your purchase, notify us, register for our site, and we'll send you our ebook. Uh, it has, a, I think, 75 tasty Vitamix recipes, and we'll provide six months of VIP support. All right, housekeeping done, time for quick picks. We've got seven strategies for picking your Vitamix. Uh, first one is life is no yolk style, and that's what we tell our friends and family when they ask us, yo, Len, Shalva, which Vitamix should we buy? And, and they just want an answer in 10 seconds. We say, okay, because all the Vitamix machines can do all the things. So smoothies, whole food juices like our green juice, hot soups, uh, ice creams, nice creams, nut butters like almond butter, coarse chopping like food prep, so like our detox salad, flowers, what else? They can all make our queso. And because the blade is fixed to the container, they're, they're all so easy to clean. And so we say, get the best, or get the best deal. So the best is the one that we use, the one that we choose to use, we could choose to use any one of them, the A3500. It's the best user experience by far, it's the least loud, it's the one we use every day, we love it. At this point, sometimes people say, oh, okay, great, I'll get that one. Which accessories should I get? And we're like, oh, whoa, okay. We definitely think people are most successful if they take a minimalist approach, uh, hold off on getting accessories and attachments, but if you want to get one, the underblade scraper is great. It's delightfully useful. And if you want to get an attachment, a secondary container, get the 48 ounce container, the standard one. It's the most versatile and the one, well, it's, it's the one you should get. We call that the ultimate Vitamix setup for minimalists, the accessorized pick without going overboard. So on the other end of the spectrum is the best deal. And this varies, um, but it's usually a reconditioned model. And because the blend quality between the two is identical, you're really only paying for more features. The more you pay, the more features you get, the blend quality is the same. Now you might be thinking, it's not so binary for me. I kind of want to know what's going on in the middle. So let's talk about that. But fun fact before we move on, just for fun. Did you know that Vitamix blades are dull out of the box? They actually are laser cut and they pulverize ingredients using sort of just brute force and power. So unlike some Vitamix alternatives, knockoffs, that have blades that are sharp, they work fairly well uh, the first few times, but then they get dull and well, it's kind of like having a, a dull razor. And yes, I had that up my sleeve. Oh my gosh, magic is so lame. I'm really sorry. <laughs> But yeah, Vitamix blades are dull out of the box. Okay, let's bring it back to that middle in between best and best deal. So second strategy for picking a Vitamix, um, by series. So comparing Ascent to Legacy to Explorian Certified Reconditioned. Ascent series. Why might an Ascent series be for you? Well, Ascent series might be for you if you think, well, maybe they're built better. They come with a 10 year warranty instead of the standard seven or five. You might appreciate the timer on the front. A little status update. You might like that there's some tech there. Container recognition, pairing with the app, pairing with the scale. On the other side of the token, Ascent might still be for you if you know there's tech there and don't care. Because you know that at the end of the day, it's still just a Vitamix. Uh, a blade that spins, a dull one, uh, a dial, buttons, smoothies, hot soups, and ice cream. 
and the scent might be for you if you like the idea that it's future-proofed. Uh, it's the system on which Vitamix is building its future. There are containers that are exclusive to it. So the eight ounce container, the food processor attachment, and finally, an Ascend series might be for you if you think, okay, they've been making these things for three years now. I have to imagine that they've only gotten better at making them. Because if you talk to someone who works on an assembly line at a, a car manufacturer, an automobile maker, they'll tell you, buy a late model year end vehicle. Because as time goes on, the, the, the folks on the lines get better at assembling the cars. You're safer. Things are less likely to break because they've gotten better at assembling them. Ooh, and side note, this is actually another reason to buy direct. So machines that you get from retailers and even Amazon have been sitting on the shelves in their inventory for who knows how long. And so buying a machine direct from Vitamix ensures that you get one of the freshest machines. Moving on to legacy, why would you buy a legacy model? Uh, nothing digital, proven durability over a decade. Maybe you're replacing one that you had or one that you saw at a, at a friend's house. Or maybe you saw a review from America's Test Kitchen or the wire cutter or a model that a chef uses and you want that one. Why Explorian? They're a uh, Vitamix on a budget and they're results oriented. You're gonna get the same results with them. Just know that they're really, really loud uh, and so if you go with an Explorian, be sure to pick up some headphones to protect your ears and the last series is certified reconditioned so huge savings uh, you would never know side by side new container new book and for what it's worth when we have a gift to give a really big gift to give we gift certified reconditioned Vitamix okay I got a pen now I'm more comfortable talking with a pen don't know why okay what about Ventrist Ventress models are exclusive to Costco. So they are out of our territory. And like everything at Costco, it's a great deal. Think about the green olives that you can get there. Uh, two giant jars of the biggest green olives you can get. And you can't get those anywhere else. That's the Costco packages. So here's what we tell people. If a demonstrator showed you the Ventress, buy it from them. Because they've earned the sale, they'll earn a commission. And you'll love it. It's a great deal and well, it's a great value and a great pick. If however, you just saw it on the shelf or you just saw it online, you might wanna consider getting it elsewhere because for that money, you might be able to get a machine that's a better fit for you, has the features that are more aligned with your needs, and it doesn't have anything that you don't need. Or you might be able to find one for significantly less, so a much better deal. Uh, for example, the, the, the affiliates, so all of the guys like us that sell the Vitamix online, uh, have Recon Ventures, certified reconditioned V1200s in our territory. We can sell those. They're very popular. They're a great deal and a great machine. And they're like half the price. Okay, that wraps up choosing by series. Let's talk about, ooh, did you know that Vitamix makes the mix-in machines, the machines at Dairy Queen that make your blizzards? I know, who would have thunk? Okay, third strategy for picking Vitamix, best for. So the best for everything. What's the best for most people? Best for Vitamix for most people, Ascent is the A2500. It's got three pre-programmed settings, variable speed control, of course, two switches, and really the right amount of features for the right price for most people. It, it's a great pick. Uh, legacy, the best legacy for most people is the 5200. It's the one the top chefs use, it's in the smoothie shops, and most likely if you're looking for a legacy Vitamix, this is the one you're looking for. It's not necessarily the best Vitamix, but it is the best blender possibly ever made. Best Vitamix you can get, the upgrade pick, Ascent is the A3500. It's got two types of walkaway blending so five pre-programmed settings the programmable timer it's got a true metal finish option so a good look and it's the quietest so the least loud like we said it's the one we use it's the best on a related note if you want the best you can get but are looking to maybe save a little bit uh the a3300 so it's the same exact model it just doesn't have the five pre-programmed settings 
it still has the programmable timer and then everything else. So a great pick if you want to save a little bit, A33. The legacy upgrade pick is the Pro 750. This is the predecessor to the A3500. It's basically the same thing, just without the programmable timer. And even though it doesn't come with true metal finish anymore, it's still one of the least loud. Best fighter mix on a budget is the A2300 for Ascent. It's the no frills Ascent. It's great. And then the rest of the budget picks are certified reconditioned. Sometimes you can find a reconditioned Ascent, A25 and A35. Sometimes you can find certified reconditioned legacy, standard, standard programs, next gen, next gen programs. Those are the 5200, Pro 500, 7500, Pro 750. <laughs> I just realized that I wasn't planning to mention the Explorian as a part of the budget picks. We don't love those. We just don't. I wish it wasn't the case because the E310 is right size and right price. It's just not right noise. The best Vitamix if you're making smoothies only, that's the 5200 or the E310. Vitamixes that come with a narrow bodied container and that's because the flow of ingredients is less chaotic. Those are made for making smoothies. That's the, the shape of the container that they have at the smoothie shops. Now, if you're planning to make more than just smoothies and juices, which most likely is you, you should go with any other Vitamix because they come with a low profile 64 ounce container, the wide one. And that, th that container is better for a lot of things. It's more versatile. It's better for making hot soups because you can do it faster. It's better for coarse chopping. You can do it more efficiently, bigger batches. They're better for making uh, batters like pancakes. It's easier to get in there. Obviously it's low profile, so it can live on your counter. For most people, that container's better. So you might be thinking, well, then do I need a secondary container uh, to make small batches? Definitely not, and definitely not right away. We, we get it and we, we hear this concern a lot. Look, we've made Frappuccinos in our low profile 64 ounce container as small as 12 ounces. If you find yourself loving making ice cream or nice cream and say, instead of making batches with four cups of ingredients, I wanna make batches with three cups of ingredients. And yeah, maybe you wanna get a 48 ounce container, which is narrow and also has the tamper. And if you find yourself saying, I love making my own salad dressings, but instead of making a batch for the week, I just wanna make a tiny bit for that night, then maybe you'd consider getting an eight ounce cup. Best Vitamix for super mom, if there are children in the house, definitely a sense series. You can add on to it, get the eight ounce, get the food processor attachment. Best if you live alone, that's an E310. It's the, got the low profile, narrow body. Uh, we've had a lot of people get the V1200 pack, come to the 20 ounce container and be really successful with that. And it's not that uncommon for people to tell us, well, I went all in and I got the A3500 because, well, I'm gonna have this thing for a long time and planning for the future. Best if you're coming from a Nutribullet, the Recon V1200, because of the 20 ounce container that it comes with, it's an easy transition. Best if you're coming from a Ninja. The shape of most of the Ninjas these days are the same shape as the, the 5200, but really any Vitamix is gonna be great for you because the blade is fixed to the container, because the blade is dull, because they're built to last. I could go on and on. Best one if you're not into tech, uh, a legacy model, 5200 or a Pro 750 or even a recon model. And we hear this a lot. I, I don't want any programs or any wireless or I don't wanna be connected to the internet. It's not Bluetooth, it's not really. I don't know. Best one if you're healthy lifestyle committed, this is, most likely you, uh, it's really any, you're, you're gonna use it a lot and you're gonna really gonna get your money's worth. We use ours every day, more than once a day. I'd get something that you can build upon, get an ascent, blah. <laughs> All right, we're through the, the superlatives, best four. Let's talk features, if you're gonna be picking by peach, if you're gonna be picking by features, good way to pick. Oh, before we do, did you know? Did you know that the first infomercial was for a Vitamix? It was done by Papa Bernard, founding father of Vitamix. He got on TV and put on his suit and went in the kitchen and talked about the Vitamix machine. The Vitamix machine. Okay, picking by features, we're gonna go fast. 
Okay, which one's the easiest to clean? They're all easy to clean. A couple drops of soap, warm water for the most part. The really thick blends, you might have to get in there with a brush, but again, because the blade is fixed to the container, they're all a breeze to clean. Ascent series has containers that are dishwasher safe if you want that. Among Ascent series, the easiest to clean are the A33 and A35. The faces, they just have a dial and the rest you can just whoosh. And then among the A35s, the graphite metal is kind of a matte black. That's gonna leave fingerprints and smudges the least, but brush stainless finish is the best in most kitchens. And even if there are smudges there, it's such a tiny bit of space. It's not like your fridge. If, uh, if you want a digital timer, get an Ascent, any of them. If you want a programmable digital timer, so 90 seconds, start, walk away, get the 33 or 35. If you want no timer at all, get any of the Legacy models or Explorian. If you want walk away blending, technically you can get walk away blending from any Ascent model. If you pair the machine to the app, you can run programs via the app in your phone. We never use that function, but the easiest is with programs or a programmable timer. So programs on the 25 and 35 and programmable timer on the 33 and 35. Some people are single issue Vitamix expires. I want the quietest, the least loud. Go with one of the best you can get from either Ascent or Legacy. So A3500 or Pro 750. Of note, the A3300 is pretty much one of the least loud as well. And actually the 780, we haven't talked about this one, a legacy, all touchscreen, very hushed too. If you want tactile controls, you wanna be able to work your machine without seeing it, if you have a visual impairment, avoid the A33, A35, and the 780. Those have touch controls. If you're looking for the safest Vitamix, go with an Ascent series. They have a secondary on off on the side and then also, if the container gets uh, gets knocked off of the base, the drive socket, the thing that spins the blade, will stop because the base senses that the container is off. That was pretty fast. I think we're moving on to... All right, now it gets easy, guys. Look, oh, quick did you know. Quick did you know. Did you know that Vitamix machines don't have a heating mechanism? They, they heat the ingredients to make hot soup with friction. Just friction. Blades moving at 2400 RPM. Blades on ingredients. Okay, these last three, these last three strategies will go really fast. Look for this one. Close your eyes and, and envision the Vitamix that's gonna live on your counter. Uh, it should live on your counter. We recommend that they do as a sort of a constant reminder of of a lifestyle that you've committed to and sort of a thing that's gonna sit there and say, feed me, put healthy food in me and let me feed you. What does it look like? And also, when your friends and family come over, what story are you gonna say about your Vitamix? You know, you might say something like, I got this recount model and you would never know, it was like an amazing deal. So yeah, so yeah, I got a Vitamix. You might say something like, I wasn't planning on it. I ended up going with the best one. You don't need it for me, but I'm gonna give it anyway. You have our permission to get the best one. And you also have our permission just to get the best deal. Because again, a Vitamix is a Vitamix and it's something that you should be proud of, of having. <laughs> Sixth strategy for picking. The regret test. This is the most common thing that people cite uh, in emails and calls and whatever that we do that was helpful for them in figuring this out. Picking which Vitamix to get. The regret test is an exercise in saying, all right, you ordered your Vitamix, it's on its way. Which one do you regret not getting? Whichever one you say, that's the Vitamix that you should get. If the answer is, well, I don't regret it, I got the one I wanted, and you got the one you want. Guys, the last uh, strategy is, well, oops, the sting. There's gonna be a sting before you check out, uh, as you hit that purchase button, no matter which one you choose. And that sting is, is not the disappointment that you feel or maybe have felt 
when getting your second Nutribullet or your third Ninja Blender, the sting is fear. It's fear of making the wrong decision, of, of doing something irrational, something crazy like spending a ton of money on a dang blender. And so hopefully when you're uh, about to check out, hit that purchase button and see our name next to free standard shipping, 06 no yoke, please, we rely on each and every one of your orders. You can remember that some 4 million people have stood on the edge about to take the plunge and felt the same thing. That sting. So recognize that fear, notice how it feels, and I guess feel good that there are free returns and exchanges. So if you want to upgrade or downgrade, you can do that. No worries. And then also something that I just read, which is... It costs a lot, but it's worth more than it costs. Guys, stick around. We're going to be talking Vitamix accessories, which accessories to buy. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. And if you appreciate videos like this, uh, Vitamix reviews and shopping advice, hit that thumbs up. We'd love to see it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, 10 Vitamix accessories to consider. First of all, we tell everyone you're, you're best taking a minimalist approach. Just get the Vitamix and use what comes with it. It's most likely more than what you need. Most people are most successful that way. If you wanna get an accessory, get the underblade scraper. It's great, it's delightfully useful. If you wanna get one attachment, get the 48 ounce wet container. It's the most versatile. It can help you with smaller batches of those thick blends, nut butters, ice cream, hummus, and it can also do some dry grain. It can do a little bit of everything. Get that one. And if you're getting a legacy model, you actually have an option to get a 32 ounce, which is the same thing, the same minimum batch size, but just a little less bulky. The best accessory, if you're already grinding your dry grains, the dry grains container. It is purpose built, the blade, to send ingredients up. A scent that comes in a 48 and legacy it comes in a 32. Best of both worlds, the stainless steel container. In our little tests, we actually found it was pretty good at making dry grains, grinding them. Uh, maybe because of the, the friction going off of the side of the stainless steel worked pretty well even though it didn't have the special dry grains blade and then it was also really great at making ice cream really enjoyable best if you're a bartender or a barista the air disc container super good at working with uh, dairy milk foams and whips and then muddling cocktails the food processor attachment if you were wanting a food processor attachment you will love it if you're not sure hold off on it the food cycler it's not an accessory to Vitamix per se, it's more like a cousin, but we love this thing. The Immersion Blender. It's probably overkill if you already have a Vitamix, but could be a good way to get into the Vitamix family for under $200. The eight ounce and the 20 ounce, so great at making baby food, small, not super thick smoothies, and little batches of dressing. We've actually found ourselves using them more lately um, if you understand what they are good at and what their limitations are, you'll love them. Uh, personal cup adapter, same thing. Tamper holders. The legacy tamper holder is kind of meh, uh, but the one for a scent is pretty cool. We use ours. The scale is a great demo. It does some pretty cool stuff. If you're into precisely measuring what's going to go into your blends, it pairs with the app and it pairs with the scent series. And well, we have a pack of our recipes you can buy for the app and the scale. Oy, I'm so bad at sales. Watch this. In our home, we never use it. Cookbooks. Your Vitamix comes with a cookbook. It's pretty good. It's got a little bit of everything. The cookbooks on the Vitamix website, there are some specialty ones that are solid, like the, the cocktails one is pretty good. We have a cookbook, it's an ebook, and we keep it like that because we treat it like software. We're constantly updating it, and when you buy a copy, it's yours forever, free lifetime updates. If you buy your Vitamix direct through us, we'll send you a copy. Okay, I just went upstairs as I finish this dang video. It snowed like six inches and guys, it's October. 
20th. <laughs> it's not even Halloween. Look at this. This is insane. You gotta see this. Come on up. Look at this. What is shh. What is happening? Holy cannoli. How much snow is out there? Do you know that the Vitamix repair team, the guys, the team, guys and gals, the folks that repair Vitamix machines, the team there is four people. Four people for like four million households that have Vitamix, Vitamix machines. So crazy. You guys are nervous about this purchase? I'm nervous about this upload. That This is like, this is like our entire year. If, if we can, be the most helpful doing this.